Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Sarah Liz. Today I am featuring a bunch of projects using the Spellbinders February 2023 card kit of the month. I'm starting with a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half inch blue cardstock to create a sky for our background. And then this is one by four and a quarter. I know it says four and a half. Apparently I can't measure things because it's going to be too long and I'm going to have to trim it off. So four and a quarter by one inch. And then I will start adding my die cut pieces. There are some really great, great pieces and you get a ton in these kits of these die cut images. I grabbed a bunch where the die cut was all the way up to the edge of the image. There's a handful of those this month and I really kind of like that look sometimes. So I've got my house and my tree, some flowers, and then I'm gonna stick some butterflies in the background as well before I add my sentiment. If you haven't checked out the Spellbinders Club kits, um, I will link all of them below. They're wonderful and they're an amazing bargain. This one is $29.50 in the US and it's free shipping. Um, some of them are cheaper, like there's a new 3D embossing folder of the month club. Uh, there's a stitching die club, um, all of them free shipping. And then once you're subscribed to a club, you can cancel any time, but you get 10% off on your Spellbinders orders for the rest of the month. So I subscribed to additional clubs last month because uh, they were incredible options. Um, and then I took advantage of my discount, which was a whole lot of fun. For the second card, I've glued down a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of solid colored cardstock, and I'm adding my die cut pieces to a piece of pattern paper that measures three by four and a quarter. I'm using that size a lot this video. Because these are six by six pieces of, of pattern paper, I like that when I use that dimension, I can get two strips to play with, right? It makes the most of the paper that I have, and I like that there's a nice thick border all the way around. Um, I accidentally glued down my piece to uh, my work surface, but that's all right. I'm just gonna trim off the die cut pieces so it fits and leaves that border on the bottom as well. And I'm gonna add that to my card base. Next, I'm gonna grab some of my sticker sentiments. There are tons and tons of stickers in this one, and there's a great sentiments, right? There are some that are good for scrapbooking, maybe journaling, but there are even more sentiments that are great for cards this month than last month. Um, and so that's a real bonus. We have a whole bunch of sequins here that look very green in the bag, but once you put them onto the card, um, the green gets a little bit muted because they're transparent. And so I'm just adding my sequins uh, in a set of three and that will complete this card. For this next card, I have a piece of four and a quarter by a five and a half inch pattern paper that I'm gonna add to my background. And then I'm using that same dimension, the three by four and a quarter for a second piece of pattern paper. I love that lemon pattern paper, but it's super busy. So I needed something to give me a place to build my focal point. So I'm grabbing my chipboard stickers and there's tons of them, there's two full sheets and I'm gonna build a little scene. The sentiment says, your kindness is beautiful and it has a little bit of gold foil accenting on it. I love that little wagon full of flowers. It's super cute. For some embellishments in the background, I'm reaching for my puffy stickers and I love these little hearts. I'm gonna use them a couple of times on my cards and I'll just grab three in some different colors and scatter them around the background uh, to complete this card. I think it's super sweet and it was really easy. For my next card, I'm gonna begin with a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half inch paper, cardstock that is three by four and a quarter plus an eighth of an inch on each side and another piece that is three by four and a quarter. Finally, I have two square pieces that are one and three quarter inches square. I know that's a lot, but we're gonna walk through it piece by piece. So I'm adding my background and then this is the same dimension I've been using, that three by four and a quarter. And I'm adding it to that navy cardstock that is just ever so slightly bigger. Okay, so three by four and a quarter, but add an eighth of an inch on each side. Then these square pieces, one and three quarters of an inch square, I am going to offset so they create sort of a diagonal line. I wanted to create a focal point for these adorable images, these die cut pieces with the ice cream and the cake. 
um, and, and they weren't standing out enough against the patterned paper or against that light blue cardstock. So I thought this was a fun way um, to create that backdrop. Uh, sometimes I'll reach for like one of the circle die cut pieces and I will just flip it over and use the white. But since we have a lot of muted pastels, that wasn't really working for this card. So I made my own. Um, you can certainly uh, look through some of the darker pieces of pattern paper. I kind of had plans for them. Uh, so I'm going to add a couple of sequins to accent. Um, and then I'm also adding two die cut pieces. So they end up in groupings of three, even though I'm only adding four sequins. I usually add things in odds, um, but that's okay. As I'm gluing things down, you'll notice I forget to glue down the flower at the very bottom, but that's okay. Good news. All the die cuts come in sets of two. So I was able to go back to the giant set of die cuts I have left over um, and add a new one. And then I finished this off with a chipboard. Happy birthday right in the middle. We're going to make a very easy fun fold here. I have cut one inch off of one of the edges of my card base. Then I have a piece of patterned paper that's going to go on that left side that measures three and a quarter by five and a half. Another piece of pattern paper, this is left over from that last cord that is five and a half by one and a quarter. We're going to put that on the background. A piece that's three and a quarter by one and a quarter and a piece that's three by one. So we're going to begin by gluing down this lemon strip that is going to go just on the inside of the card. This is one of my very favorite like fun folds. It's super easy and a little bit surprising. I love when something about that card is unexpected, whether it's an interactive feature or it's a fun fold or something um, in the, the patterns or the ephemera that we're adding. That's just really gorgeous. And so this ticks all those boxes for me. Then I'm gluing down this other piece on the front flap. I'm being very careful to line that up so I'm not gluing my card shut and you can see that lifts open. Next, I'm adding some of my ephemera. I'm creating like a little uh, house front here. I love this door and then a couple potted plants um, and then we are going to work on our sentiment. So this piece of white paper is just a quarter inch smaller than the light blue. There is a sticker that looks very similar to this, but the sentiment didn't quite work for me. So I am, I'm making my own. I'm going to glue that down to the front. Again, I'm really careful um, not to glue my card shut. It was a little long. I, a bunch of my cuts were slightly off today. That's okay. Um, I'll just use my simmer, scissors and trim them down a little bit. And then I am going to add a sticker that says thinking of you. And I'm lining that up on the left so I have an equal border on the three sides and I'll use the lemon to fill that empty space so it didn't need to be exactly the right size sticker. These little bees are the reason I love this card so much. They've got little gold accents on their wings and then I'm going to add an inchworm in the front and his, the little lines of his body are also in gold accents. Uh, you guys, I love this card. It's cute, it's whimsical, it's got a surprising fold to it. Our next card is also a fun fold, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then another piece that is four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, one is patterned paper that's gonna go on the front of our card and the other we're gonna save for the back for hiding the fun fold. In this kit, we have stickers that look like stamps. And I've been seeing this sort of envelope fold all over the Instagrams. And I was like, we have to do it. We have, we have stamps. So I am just taking that piece of patterned paper, I'm centering the point, and I'm just gonna fold it around the back of the card. I'm gonna trim off some of the extra because I don't need all of that on the back and it's not enough to cover the entire back of the card. I am mitering to hide that pattern paper and I will line this up on the front and then I'll flip it over and I am going to glue just that little flap on the back. It does not matter that that cut isn't super neat. That's what this piece of solid colored cardstock is for. I'm going to add this to the back of my card to hide that join. Isn't this cute? It looks like a little envelope. Again, that little bit of surprising something. I just tucked my eraser on here to hold the flap down while I'm adding my ephemera. This flower, I'm gonna add glue to only half of it and put it on top of the flap. 
this next piece is going to go all the way underneath it. So we're going to have flowers both when the flap is closed and when it is opened. I'm adding a little bit of greenery and tucking it behind that second flower. And then this one, because the flap wants to pop open, I'm using some of our foam pieces to pop that up. I'm going to put them all over just half of that flower. Otherwise, I'd be gluing my card shut. Um, and then that will act as like a little place to tuck the point of that envelope under to hold it closed. So I'm just lining that up carefully. Um, and then I'm going to add a little gold foil heart to the point of that envelope as well. That way it's extra pretty both when it's open and when it's closed. Um, and that creates the little fun fold feature. Finally, I'm going to add this owl. There are two of these owls and I'm making plans for the other one. It's maybe one of my favorite pieces. As I flip this over to the back, I'm going to add a sticker in the shape of a stamp. And then I will probably add, once I know who this is going to, um, places in like the address sections um, to decorate the card just for them. This next project is a mini card. So I have a piece of pattern paper at three by six. That blue piece is three and a quarter by two and a half. And then I've cut down my card base in half. So it is two and three quarters by three and a half. So I want to show you how I'm doing this. I am just taking the card base that came in the kit and I'm cutting it in half. I'm keeping the fold on the left side. I don't want to remove the fold. And then I will cut that down to create uh, essentially the pocket for my mini card. So you can get two of them out of one card base. I'm wrapping my pattern paper around the back and I'm being careful to make sure it's all squared up. Um, the pattern is helping me do that, but if it's not quite square, I'm going to end up um, with a crooked back. And this will just barely wrap all the way around and I'm going to add a thin line of glue to seal that up. So we have the fold from the original card base and then this is creating um, the other two sides of our pocket. Next, I'm going to slide that pink piece all the way down to the end and I'm going to clip the corner. And that is going to create an equal white border all the way around. I didn't measure it. I kind of eyeballed it. It's some kind of paper crafting magic. Sometimes I end up clipping twice if I find that that border is a little small on the diagonal, um, but it typically works out just fine for me. Um, so give it a try. This is really fun um, and a neat way to make a little mini card. It's pretty obvious that the card slides out. Um, so I, I don't know. I think it's really fun. And then I've finished this off with some die cut pieces and a puffy heart sticker. And I'm going to stick just a little glue behind that pink pattern paper so it quits sliding around. And that is our finished project. I'm going to make another one, but this time it's gift card holder size. So I have my pattern paper and then I'm going to cut this a little bit smaller. This one's going to be three and a half by two and a half. So this is just the other half of that card base. And then these are three and an eighth by two and a half. And they are going to be a matting layer for our pattern paper, right? Pattern paper is three by six. So this is just that three inches and I've added an eighth and then it's the same height as our pocket. There is a way to do this differently to create a white border all the way around when we clip the corner, but this was a little easier and I like the results. So I'm showing you the easier way. Again, I'm going to wrap this pattern paper around. I'll have extra. So this time it can come all the way up to the top. I'm squaring it up and making sure the ends meet nicely. I'll add my line of glue and then I will seal that up. Because it's a little bit too long, I'm just going to take my scissors and trim along the edge to remove that extra. That was easier for me than trying to measure and fold it perfectly. I'll slide the pink piece down and clip the corner. And now I have little blue borders and white borders. I'm going to add a little bit of glue behind that pattern paper again to make sure it doesn't move now that I've slided it into place where I want it. And I'm going to add these strawberries. They're so cute. I love strawberries and lemons as images or as pieces of ephemera or stamps or you name it. I am, I am all in for that. Uh, I'm adding a piece of birthday cake with a candle and then there's this little like flag sticker as well. Uh, and I will add a little sentiment that says celebrate to the corner. 
to finish this off and kind of create a little birthday themed gift card holder and it is just the perfect size this is a hotel key but it's the same size and you get the idea i kind of liked how the colors went here here is a look at the eight completed projects that we made today with our spellbinders february 2023 card kit of the month i have so much left from this kit i could make so much more i've got at least one more project coming up using the die add-on so stay tuned Hit a thumbs up and a subscribe if you'd like to see that final video and I will see 